Today we are going to be diving into some Python uh, GUI design programming. And in the past, I've done GTK programming for my GUIs mainly. I haven't really done any video tutorials on it, but that's what I've used mainly in the past. And um, then uh, I've also used WX widgets. And uh, those were great too, but I've heard a lot about the QT uh, toolkit. I haven't really used it. And um, well, I've been playing with it for about a week, maybe two weeks now, and I'm loving it. So that's what we're going to go over, and uh, one of the great things about this is it makes things so easy that uh, these first number of tutorials, we're going to be making uh, GUI applications uh, and converting them to Python scripts without doing any coding. So let's get started. We're going to start by making a very simple Hello World program. It's going to do a little more than just display the words Hello World, but that's what we're going for. When you start up QT4 Designer, and I am using QT4 Designer, there is a QT3 Designer, and it is different. Uh, so make sure you're, if you're working along with this, you're using QT4 Designer. Um, and this is your default window. It gives you some options here for doing dialog windows with buttons, without buttons, a main window, which we're going to be using that stuff later in the future. Today we're just going to create a simple widget window. So choose widget and click create. And it creates this default form for you. And we're going to start by adding some components from here over on the left. You have a long list of them. Uh, I may have more than you do. That just means I have some extra components installed from other things like I have QT3 design, uh, uh, QT3 installed on my system and some stuff from the K desktop. But we're going to be working with the default QT uh, toolkit here. So even though I may have more stuff in my toolkit here, that my widget box, than you do, um, the stuff we're working with should be in yours by default. You have this filter bar up here. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to type in label because we're going to add a label. Then I'm just going to drag and drop the label over here. There's our label. I'm going to adjust the size out a little bit and I'm going to double click it and I'm just going to type hello world. And I'll hit enter. Now we have that. At any point, you can see what your application is going to look like by hitting Control R. Gives you a little preview window. So here is our window. Ta-da! You made a Hello World uh, window. But we're going to do more than just that. We're going to now go in our our filter box here again, and I am going to do a search for line edit, and that's just a simple little line text box there. And now I'm going to do a search for button, and I'm going to add a simple push button just by dragging it over here. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add signals and slots. And this is the way uh, in Qt that different components or widgets communicate with one another. And you can get into that mode in two different ways. Right now, we are in edit widgets mode next icon over here is edit slots signals and slots so we can click on that another way of doing it is edit mode is f3 on your keyboard now you see i can edit and drag these around and f4 puts us in the signal slots you know you're on it because when you hover over things they turn red now if we want this push button to affect this hello world label all we have to do is click and drag a line from the button to the label then it brings up this window and just think of this simply as kind of a if-then statement. The uh, signal is the if and the uh, slot is the then, basically. Uh, so when the push button is clicked and it gives you some options over here. Now it goes based on what you click over here is the options it gives you over here. If you want to see all, you can click this button here and it gives you a list of other ones. So if we wanted to hide the label, we can do that or show it. Uh, and a few other options, but usually the most commonly used is going to be what's there without that checked. And right now we can click that button and have it be cleared. So we're going to do that and we're going to click OK. And we have that connected. So now if we hit Control R, we start up our program. We can click the button and it cleared out our text in that label. We can close that window. And at this point, let's go back into our widget edit mode once again by hitting F3 or clicking this icon up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this push button and I'm going to add the text to say clear. So now we know what that button does. Uh, we're going to go into a few tutorials on more of you know properties of each uh, widget over here. But right now we're just going simple hello world. Let's go into our signal slot editor again. Hit F4. 
You can see that there. Now we want this text box to edit the label. So we'll drag a line from the text box or the line edit to our label. And we're going to choose text edit, so or text changed. So if text changed, then our label will set the text. And you can see it puts a little variable of Q string in there. OK, we'll hit Control R. Get a preview window here. Now, as you type in this box, it changes the label to match what the text box says. And we can hit clear to clear that out. We can also add another clear. So we can drag from the button. The button can now send a signal to our line edit. When it's clicked, we can clear that as well. You have other options here of copy, cut, paste, redo. We'll get more into that stuff later. But obviously, they do what they say they do. OK, now we hit Control R again. We can clear that. We can type stuff. And we can press clear. And now it clears out both of those. So great, we created a simple little program here. Let's clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer. We'll hit F3 to go back into widget edit mode. I'm going to draw a box around these two items and select both of them, our line edit and our push button. And up here, I am going to choose our Layout, layout horizontal. It's the three vertical. Uh, the boxes are going vertical, but they are lined up horizontally. Click that, and boom! It automatically puts these in a little frame. They are now linked together and will always be lined up properly. Now let's do a box around Hello World and that, and we can do vertically now. And now they are all linked together. These will always be horizontal. Our button and our line edit, and the label will always be vertical. Did I say that right? Horizontal here, vertical here, or yes. And now, uh, so now if we hit Control R, you can see how that is. But as we change the size of our window, they don't change. If we want them to change along when we resize the window, all we have to do is click on the window so that nothing else is selected. And we have options up here for a grid layout and basically kind of like a grid but it's a form layout. We'll get more into that later. We're going to choose the grid layout and you can see now it is matched to that. We can hit control R and we can resize and you can see that the thing the widgets within that form are also resized. I'm going to close that and we're going to save our project and I'm just going to save it under my temp folder. I have a folder called that I've already created called QT Hello. And I'm going to call this hello.ui. This is our UI interface. We can now come back. The UI interface is what we're going to use to edit this if we wanted to change this in the future. Now I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm already in that folder. I can list out items here, and you can see our hello UI. And we need to install another package now since we're going to be going with Python for our code. And that package is called PYQT4 Devel Tools. So use Aptitude or whether package manager you prefer to install this package here. I already have it installed. And at this point, that will install a program called PYUIC4. And this is the program that will take that user interface we just created in QT Designer and it will convert it into a Python code. We're going to do that. We're going to use the uh, dash x uh, here. And this will make it a full Python uh, runnable script. It wants our input file now, which is our hello UI. And then dash o for output. And we'll just call it hello.py. We'll hit Enter. No errors. That's great. So now we can just type in Python. And we'll do hello py. When we hit enter, there it is. We've got our form running in Python now. We can use a text editor like Vim to go into our hello py and see our Python code that was generated by that program. And we're going to get more into this in future tutorials. So thank you for watching. And visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.